Formerly their radical policy, 22 British Columbians have died of drug overdoses. But he continues to allow those drugs to kill the people in our hospitals and on our public transit. When will we put an end to this wacko policy by this wacko Prime Minister? The drugs and death. His extreme and radical drug policy has increased overdose deaths in British Columbia by 380 percent. In the year following his decriminalization of crack, heroin and other hard drugs in hospitals, transit buses, coffee shops and parks where children play, there has been a record smashing 2,500 deaths. Will the Prime Minister accept the BC NDP's demand to recriminalize those drugs? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, I just answered that question. What hasn't been answered by the Leader of the Opposition is why he chooses to continue right. to court extreme right nationalist that groups like Diagonal Line. He refuses to denounce these extremists who don't believe Canadians should coexist with each other. Instead, they call for war and tell people to follow uh, their instincts accordingly. The Leader of the Conservative Party is actively courting the support of groups with white nationalist views. It is disturbing, and he needs to stand up and apologize now. Colleagues, so soon in question period, it is important that we try to control ourselves. I'll ask the honourable member from St. Albert, uh, Edmonton, please, to allow members to ask uh, the questions and members to respond. The honourable leader of the opposition. Mr. Speaker, I always condemn extremism and racism, including from the guy who spent the first half of his adult life as a practicing racist, dressing up in hideous racist costumes so many times he can't member, uh, leader of the opposition, uh, knows that to make an accusation directly at, a, at the character of a single person is not appropriate. And I'm going to ask all members to control themselves. I'll ask the honourable uh, leader of the opposition to rephrase this question and to start uh, from the top. Mr. Speaker, I also condemn the extremism of a Prime Minister who gives hundreds of thousands of dollars of anti-racism money to a Jew hater who has proposed shooting Jews in the head. I condemn, I condemn a Prime Minister who allows the IRGC, which murdered 55 Canadians, to remain legal. And I condemn a Prime Minister who allows open use of crack, heroin, meth and weapons in hospital rooms that threaten nurses and on school buses next to children. Will the Prime Minister reverse his extremist policies at the death <laughs> The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the leader opposite is showing us exactly what shameful, spineless leadership looks like. He shakes hands with white nationalists and then goes to actively court the support of those members and has the nerve. Get it together, Craig! Get it together! Get it together! Get it Ask the honourable member from Lethbridge if she has problems with the chair that she should challenge the chair in a way. But as she knows, as the honourable member from Lethbridge knows, that by challenging the chair is against the rules of this house. I'll ask the honourable member to please to ask her to withdraw her remarks. The chair is acting in a disgraceful manner. I'm going to ask you. Will you?
Ms. Harder, I have to name you for disregarding the authority of the chair. Pursuant to authority granted to me by Standing Order 11, I order you to withdraw from the House and from any participation by video conference for the remainder of this day's sitting. at hand. He does to start his question to reframe it in a way that does not call into the character of an individual member of parliament. The honourable prime minister, right honourable prime minister, Mr. Speaker, the leader opposite is showing us once again uh, what he will do to try and earn votes through personal attacks. He shakes the hands of a leader of a white nationalist group, then goes to actively court the support of the group's members and thinks he can get away with it. This is a group that advocates for violence against 2SLGBTQI plus Canadians, against Hindus and Sikhs, uh, against uh, Muslims and Jews. Diagalong stands against everything we stand for as Canadians, and yet he will not denounce them or what they stand for. That is shameful, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, that, like everything else he says, is false. He uses fears and fear and falsehood and this latest distraction because he doesn't want to face the fact that he has become so extreme and radical that even the B.C. NDP is distancing himself, themselves from his decriminalization of crack, heroin, meth and other hard drugs in hospital rooms causing nurses to have to stop breastfeeding their babies for fear that their contaminated air might end up in the breast milk of the baby. Why won't he ban these drugs? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. He will still won't condemn these groups. Any leader that needs the support of a far-right white nationalist group to fundraise and get closer to power does not deserve elected office. This is exactly this is a 19-year career politician who knows exactly what he's doing and thinks he can get away with it. It was a choice to pander to white nationalists, not an accident. And it is a choice to continue to not condemn them and condemn everything they stand for in his quest for votes. I'm going to ask the honourable member for the second time from St. Albert, Edmonton, to please withhold his comments until he has the floor. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, it is a choice for him to implement extremist policies that have taken the lives of 2,500 British Columbians every single year. Since the NDP has asked him to reverse course on his and formerly their radical policy, 22 British Columbians have died of drug overdoses. But he continues to allow those drugs to kill the people in our hospitals and on our public transit. When will we put an end to this wacko policy by this wacko Prime Minister? No. 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 Is not there are a couple of things which are going on here today which is not acceptable. And I ask all members, please, to keep themselves, to control themselves. I'm going to ask two things. One, I'm going to ask the Honourable uh, Leader of the Opposition to withdraw uh, that term, which is not considered parliamentary. 
Mr. Speaker, I replace Wacko with extremist. He is an ex The Honourable Member to please. I'm going to ask the Leader of the Opposition once again to just withdraw that comment, please. And I'll invite the Honourable Member. I'm going to ask the Honourable Leader of the Opposition to please withdraw that comment and simply withdraw that comment. I'll replace it with radical no, I'm a, policy. I am not asking to replace. I'm asking the Honourable Member to just simply withdraw. Mr. Speaker, I replace the word wacko with extremist. I'm going to ask the Honourable Leader of the Opposition one last time to please withdraw that comment and simply withdraw that comment. I simply withdraw and replace with the aforementioned adjective. Mr. Polyev, I have to name you for disregarding the authority of the chair. Pursuant to the authority granted to me by Standing Order 11, I order you to withdraw from the House and from any participation by video conference for the remainder of this day's sitting.